season. So let me kind of give a little bit of backstory. Hopefully this isn't um, carried too long, but, um, and I'm recording this on 3rd of June, 2021. So um, I'm the captain for, I'm sure my ranking adds um, some support to that <laughs> currently. But I am the captain actually for uh, Division Three team um, in uh, NGS. And, um, you know, it's air off season. We had a disappointing season last, and I posted some videos about that. Uh, but just my thoughts and, and reflection on um, on that season, kind of why we didn't do as well as I was hoped. And so we got a great, talented group, um, and we just didn't execute the way that I was hoping, especially with um, some coaching that we did. Uh, but it's actually kind of given some insight. It seems like with every failure, I kind of see some ways to improve on or some things to do better. Um, but I, I wanted to just kind of talk about in general what you can do in off season as an NGS group. I mean, obviously, if you're um, a little bit higher tier, I mean, I, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you're watching this video, you have no idea what to do in the off season or maybe you haven't thought of everything. So I think most, like most teams, um, and I'm going to pull up this WordPad thing here. Uh, like most teams, I think, um, can't multitask very well apparently, but most teams I think they just play a lot, and that works. Um, they play like maybe a lot of like uh, Storm League, um, you know, like they play Unranked, or maybe some draft, I can't remember what it's called. Maybe some quick match, whatever. Um, so yeah, you can definitely keep doing that. Um, you know, other teams that build relationships will set, set up scrims. Um, yeah, obviously if you are, I don't know what to call them, franchise? I don't know. Basically if you have other teams that are associated with your name, obviously you have more network ability um, to scrim with people. Scrims are highly effective. You know, if you've never really done them and you're an NGS team, I'd be super shocked if you haven't at this point for mo a majority of the teams. So maybe if you're maybe Division C or less, um, maybe it's not as common, but it's pretty darn common and it, it helps you kind of move up and just also network, just create relationships with, with uh, other teams. You can pa practice um, you know, specific strategies outside of rank. Um, you can do um, uh, specific strats and then you can do specific maps, specific characters. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of things you can practice, like combos. Um, there's a, whole, a lot of advantages to that. And you can set up scrims in a lot of different ways. Like um, we kind of do it like you know we we do bands or don't do bands of uh, maps we can play or not. Um, we can also set it up where you know you just pick one and then the the loser picks one. Um, the loser continues to pick if they want map or first pick. Kind of like how they set it up in NGS right now. Um, uh, some other things is obviously you can um, you can set it up where you play the map twice. So one per one team picks a, a map and then you play it twice and then you just rotate the first person or first pick. Um, obviously that could take like you know 40 minutes to an hour depending on the map um, if you do it, if you flip it twice. But it kind of gives you more practice on the map. Some sometimes you can just practice the whole map for you know three hours or whatever, two hours or whatever much time you got which could be very helpful for specific comps and you know there's there's just a lot of things you can do with scrims and there isn't I think th there isn't really any rule per se as long as you just kind of talk about it in advance and, and both teams agree so super highly effective it's it's pretty much what um, all the high end tier teams do if they want to get better and work on specific things and then also they can kind of hi hide their strategies unless they're streaming it like me so maybe we just never hide our, our strats um, and if teams really want to dig into it at, at our division, then more power to them because we've got a lot of divisions to climb before we should be at, at that rank anyway, that they really care that much. Uh, but some of them do, whatever to give them an edge, and I get it. Um, I think if I had more time and I was younger, I'd probably do the same thing, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> so um, about those little things. Um, so some other things, I mean, obviously you can work on these things during the season too, but off season is the, where you have the most dedicated time, especially if you're on a limited schedule like our team is. Um, you could do um, uh, reviews, 
of like specific gameplay. Like you could look at past games, you could look at positioning, you could look at engages, counter engages, like what were actions were, like why we engaged when we weren't together. I mean, a whole bunch of things you can look at as far as gameplay review. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm sure there's other things. I mean, you could do like draft theory, you know, especially if you're trying to figure out some stuff. Obviously that will come before, ideally you can do that before your scrims. <laughs> We'll come up with draft theory. I mean, uh, that's what our team is focusing on right now for specific maps. You know, actually having a dedicated plan. Like we've somehow gotten in the playoffs year, uh, like season after season, with not having consistency. I mean, I th it just as a personal observation for our team, like we tend to throw in our experimental drafts that we really haven't practiced that much over our proven drafts later in the season. So we always screw ourselves up near the end of the season. So maybe one day we'll learn, maybe not. Um, but draft theory is huge if you guys haven't done that. And here's the thing, these are these other things outside of playing the game aren't fun. I mean, it's really not, but I mean, unless you have someone just saying, hey, this is what we're doing. You know, this is what you're playing, this is what you're playing, which is maybe how a lot of teams work. Um, but if you're trying to work it as, as a cohesive unit in a group that you're building something together, then it's gonna take a little bit more time you know, the more, um, you know, the more people that are involved. And I like to involve my whole team. So it's like five people that I want everyone to agree on the thing. And it's not going to happen quickly in that that process. Um, so, yeah, draft theory. Um, I mean, you could even, like, see coaching. That's what we did last season. And there's a lot of different things you can get coaching on, whether it's all the things listed above. Um, I mean, you can even get coaching for... Uh, individual play, um, things like that. Let's see, I think those are the main things. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of things you guys can add. I mean, technically, we've never done these, but you can do drills to get better. Like whether it's drill on um, combo timings, uh, drills on like uh, micro skills, which you can kind of practice on your own. Um, drills on um, essentially like um, getting your damage or your burst potential up or doing things in the right order because sometimes that matters for certain characters um, you know so there's a lot of different individual drills you do you can just do it on the chiming mode we've never done it because we're always trying to play but if you actually want to be a good player to work on that stuff you probably should do it but apparently we're not that good so um, let's see you can um, you can actually enter um, off-season tourneys. I mean, there's a couple that I know of um, as of, again, the 3rd of June 2021. I know CCS, uh, their franchise does it. Um, there's another one that is on the East Coast that I know one of our guys does is um, XG something. If you, if you guys, one of you guys happen to watch this, um, just put it in the comments below in YouTube because that's eventually where this will appear. Um, I can't remember like uh, what their stands for. It's like Zool, I think it's like Zuljin Distillery, I think is, is their team. But they've been doing an off-season tournament, things like that. Um, but uh, let's see, is there any other ways that off-season stuff to do? Well, I'm sure there is. I think these are the main ones. I'll just stop there. Cut it short for once. But, um, but yeah, if there's other things you, you guys think would be good to add to the off-season regime, sometimes it's good, you know, I'm going to add this, just take a break. Sometimes you need to do that, especially if it was a really intense season and you had a letdown. Um, you know, if you think about every division, I mean, they set it up for ideally 12 on the west side, 12 on the east side. Um, so that's 24 teams, and then only one representing goes to the finals, and there's one winner, so essentially one of 20, 24 teams. Um, they might even make some of the brackets a little bit bigger, or they could be smaller, but either way, there's only one winner, really, right? And losing is hard to swallow, uh, especially if you have high expectations like we did. So sometimes it's actually taking a break and sticking with it. Like, we actually took a three-week break off. We didn't meet if if you wanted to play, I did, I played during the off season, which I probably should have, sh should have started that AZ challenge way months ago so I could actually start playing characters again that I want to play. 
<laughs> but um, and that's for another video because I've posted a little bit about it already. You, uh, just take a look. Um, but but basically, taking a break could be good for the mentality. Play other games. Um, we took a three week break off, um, and we're kind of still in that break mentality because I I think our season doesn't start for like another two or three months. So we still got some time, but you know we're very limited on the time that we do spend with each other, as well. You know, playing two two nights a week, you can only get so much done. Um, so it's going to creep on us pretty quickly. So, um, but either way, yeah, take a break, like whatever that. Just like if if the guys like playing together, but they just need some time to just do something else, then let them do that. Um, you know, and, and if you like to keep playing the game, keep playing. You know, I mean, do whatever makes you feel the happiest. But you know, obviously, if if you're not happy and you need a break, then take a break. Good, it's good for mental for sure. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably it. I'm probably thinking more later. Um, you know, if I see like an influx of ideas that I didn't list, that's fine. Put them in the comments. It's good to inform the community, things like that. Uh, that's pretty much it all I got for this video. You know, if you like my stuff or want to keep encouraging me to do that stuff, you know, like the content, the subscribe, uh, especially if you want to see more. If there's other uh, specific types of comments you want to do, put them in the comments. And since I've got 10 subscribers right now, I can actually respond to everyone. Um, and even then, I think uh, the highest YouTubers um, don't have a ton of subscribers because the game isn't super huge. So um, I probably will be able to, to, as long as I'm playing this game, um, and, and make the time for it, I can probably get back to you in comments. And i love to hear from you. And obviously, if, if you're watching this video and you're just like, what in the world is this leak stuff that you're talking about? If you have no idea, let me know. Heck, I might even try to build a team around for you if you've got a good attitude, even if your skills are subpar. As long as you have the can-do attitude and, and you're willing, um, I'd be more than happy to try to build a team around you. I have that skill set to do. Um, I can't guarantee the season will go amazing, but I can guarantee you will at least get the experience on some level, and hopefully it'll be enjoyable. <laughs> but um, but either way, um, you know, see you guys out there. Say hi to me in game if you've seen some of my content. That uh, I definitely love seeing that stuff. Um, but you guys have a good one, and I'll see you out there. Uh, take care.